Attention all quilters! Have you ever had difficulties finding space to conveniently arrange quilt blocks? The Design Wall comes to your rescue. Donna Fenske and Kate Brzezinski are here to show you how these portable, freestanding units can be set up in mere minutes. Kate and I really enjoy the convenience of the Design Wall. It comes in a nice, compact package. It's easy to carry to class. The first component you'll notice are the poles. They come collapsed. They are actually based off of tent poles. You'll see Donna putting one together. We've divided them four for the outer frame, two for the braces, cross braces, and two for the leg stands. We have the small components that will be attached. Two little uh, toppers or pads that will go on the ends for the stand, corner braces or brackets, and then we're kind of calling these clips. They clip onto the frame when we're attaching the cross braces and the legs. The design wall is made from 100% cotton flannel and the size that we're going to be putting together is 36 inches square. So now we're going to start to insert our poles into the pockets on all four sides of our design wall. And after we have all of our poles inserted, we are going to then take our corner braces and we're going to simply slip our poles into the corners, but sometimes we have to maybe play a little bit with the knots to get them in correctly. Um, and sometimes it's, it takes a little bit to get the last corner in, and we'll let Kate put this that is, on. This is an easy uh, stand or wall to put together, but it's a little more fun when you have a second person. And now I'm going to simply add the, the little stand ends to our stand poles. And again, sometimes you have to play with a little knot to get it out of the way so that we can get our little plastic uh, stoppers on. And then I'm going to put the end clips in, get that past a knot. Sometimes a bigger knot actually helps hold those And we're going to just set them on off for a while and now we're going to be adding our clips to our crossbars. These will help stretch the design wall. And we're simply going to be centering it on the back side of the design wall and we're going to clip it in place. And the Halfway last point one. on top and bottom of the design wall. And give it a good stretch. This is what keeps the fabric taut. Nice and taut. And now we're going to put our legs on and we're going to simply clip them at the top till they clip in. And we're going to simply flip up our 36 inch design wall. And Donna has a few quilt blocks and you'll be able to see how wonderfully and, they stick right and to the And it's really fabric. a lot of fun to play with your blocks on the design wall. You can rearrange them and see what kind of design combination you would like to come up with. And here you'll see Donna sitting at the sewing machine with the smallest size, the 18 inch. It's very convenient to put quilt blocks in arrangements right at the sewing machine. Here you can see Kate at the 72 inch square design wall. It's great for displaying her quilt blocks. She enjoys playing with the arrangement. It's very convenient for quilting. The portable design walls are available in three convenient sizes, 18 inch, 36 inch, and the 72 inch. With a compact storage and effortless assembly of all the sizes, I know that one or possibly more portable design walls will be just right for your quilting area. The portable design walls, if you order today, they'll be on the way.